Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our morning panel discussion of View from the Top, a leadership panel discussion for our retail IT industry. I'm Jim Roddy, the president of Business Solutions Magazine and the chairman of the board of the directors for the RSPA, and I'm thrilled that you came here this morning uh, to participate in this discussion. I'd like to introduce our panelists for this session. I'll be very brief to maximize our time, and please hold your applause to the end. So I will go from your left to right on the stage. Mike Bauer has served as CEO of ScanSource for the past 14 years. He co-founded the company in 1992 with only six employees, and now today ScanSource posts sales of more than 2.9 billion, employs more than 1,500 worldwide, and is a Fortune 1000 company. Next to him is John Waldron. John has served as the president for Honeywell Scanning and Mobility since 2012. Prior to holding that position, he was a general manager for Honeywell Scanning and Mobility in the Americas and Honeywell's vice president of global marketing. Matt Taylor is the president of Integrated Payments for Mercury Payment Systems, a Vantive company. Mm -hmm. Matt joined Vantive this year as the president of the Integrated Payments business after five years as the CEO of Mercury, which Vantive acquired in June 2014. If it's news to you that Vantive acquired Mercury, you're probably in the wrong room or at the wrong conference and you gotta <laughs> head on somewhere else. Uh, so Matt joined Mercury in 2003 and has held various positions including COO and Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing. The man in the middle, Steve Kuntz, is the CEO and Chairman at Blue Star. Under his leadership, Blue Star has expanded beyond the Americas into Europe, plus Blue Star has received Distributor of the Year awards from companies such as Motorola, Microsoft, and Star Micronics. Well, please welcome to the stage Arnie Bellini, the CEO of ConnectWise, a business management platform for solution providers. Today, ConnectWise is used by over 6,000 technology companies worldwide. Arnie is the chief visionary behind the company's longstanding success. Ray Carlin is HP's vice president and general manager for the Retail Solutions Global Business Unit. Prior to this role, he was president and CEO of Storenext Retail Technologies, executive VP for Retalix USA, and held multiple positions during his 20-year career at NCR, including VP of their US Retail Systems Division. And next to me is Jay Miley. He is Ingram Micro's Vice President and General Manager of its Advanced Technology Division in the United States. A member of the Ingram Micro team since 1994, he has held leadership positions for the company in North America, New Zealand, and Australia. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and expertise today. How about a big round of applause for today's panelists? So let me share with you the format for today's discussion. So Business Solutions Magazine Chief Editor Mike Monticello and I have crafted the que questions about the trending topics in the retail IT channel based on the feedback of our reseller subscribers. The topics are based on research we compiled in our 2014 Guide to Point of Sale and Payment Processing. Several people in this room participated in that issue, so thank you very much for your contributions. <laughs> so here's a pattern for the Q&A. I'll pose a question to two or three panelists, they'll answer first, and then we'll have a general discussion among the group for whoever wants to contribute. Because our time is limited and we have a lot of topics we wanna to cover, we'll limit the conversation to about five or 10 minutes on each subject to get to as many questions as possible. And I won't necessarily ask every single panelist to answer every single question. I'd hate to I'd really feel bad for the seventh person if we force them to weigh in on a topic if so, six people had focused before. But again, if the gentlemen want to weigh in on all that, we can go ahead and have a free-for-all. All right? Mm -hmm. We ready to get rocking and rolling? You guys ready? Sure. Yeah. All right. So this first question I am going to ask everybody to weigh in, and we can start on the left of the panel and work our way to the right. So can you talk about the landscape you're seeing today in the retail IT industry? Give us the state of the industry from your perspective in like a 60 or 90 second answer, please. Starting with you, Mike. Well, at ScanSource, we've seen a, a really strong year. A lot of the uh, enthusiasm around replacing Windows XP has been strong. There's always a lot of talk about mobile POS, but there's not a lot of business there yet for at least our company and most of our customers. But when I walked around the show yesterday, clearly still there's so much talk around payments, and I wish I was in Matt's seat right now because I think he's got the, the, the best seat in the house. But clearly there's uh, a lot of opportunity that we continue to see in retail. And as we talk to our customers, we hear opportunities for us to bring on new technologies, new vendors. But the other big news, I think, in this year has been the consolidation of the industry and the changes that are affecting our resellers. A lot of the customers that are here are going through changes themselves in their business about how to adapt for future, whether that's succession planning or whether that's how do they embrace some new technology. So we're, we're really positive about 14 in the U.S. and we expect it to continue in 15. 
So at Honeywell, we see many of the same things, and we're one of the consolidators in the industry, as many of you know, and have acquired four companies to uh, become who we are today. The trends that I see that are really kind of guiding our thoughts and development efforts are fundamentally around the frustrations that exist within the IT executive ranks at our customers. And CIOs and IT directors are really looking for that next step function of, of return on investment from the IT investments that they make. And rather than just think about it as cost, they'd really like to think about it as something that actually returns to them and uh, that they don't have to explain to their CEO as you know, just a, a giant sucking sound of investment. And so we're, we're having conversations and dialogues about this across uh, sectors and across customers, whether they be large you know, global multinationals or small and medium businesses. I also see the, the trend of in-store and logistics blurring. And for many of our customers, those lines are really starting to fade. And so as solution providers in the industry, I think we have to stop thinking about vertical markets as you know, really captive and, and quarantined from one, one from another. And we have to think about the total end-to-end -end value chain that our customers live in. Great, Matt Taylor. So I see retail IT transforming and evolving and getting more rapid. Mercury's perspective covers a large VAR channel. We've got over 2,500 VARs and over 700 ISVs, and we've been in the business helping serve that channel for close to a dozen years now. So the POS system is becoming more and more of a utility for merchants to grow their businesses. And uh, from a consumer experience perspective, we're now seeing real demonstrable shift um, towards the consumer driven through mobility. And, um, and that's putting a lot of pressure on the retail VAR. So uh, solutions are becoming more complex, and we're seeing the value chain evolving. And uh, I'd like to say it's easy, but it's not. We're seeing a lot of our business models come under pressure. So payments is a recurring revenue stream we've been able to provide to help sustain the channel, but they need to sustain and they need to evolve. And, um, and I think change is the theme for this year. For sure, Steve. Well, it, it's pretty obvious that, <clears throat> pardon me, that Cost reduction has been a factor in what's going on in retail, and by having distributed technology, capturing data and providing feedback to their customers, you know, the old idea of having a bunch of rack servers in the back room and, and having everything hardwired is, is kind of going away because it's very expensive. And, you know, we're seeing the uh, introduction of uh, routers that are actually in the appliances and devices themselves that are distributing data within an enterprise that don't even require, you know, hardcore wired servers. So I, I think it's a natural progression of both utility and cost reduction. Uh, at ConnectWise, we have about 6,000 IT partners, companies that run IT companies. A lot of them are point of sale companies. What we're really seeing is a very strong trend towards as a service. In fact, we're seeing that trend very significantly across all of IT where everything is being delivered as a service. The, the challenge to you and the, in the audience is transforming your model from a project model to an as a service model. That's a big challenge. Uh, that's something that we help our partners with every day. Um, and I know another concern that you probably have that we've seen is that Point of sale is really becoming IT. I know a lot of people like to think about audio visual in its own little compartment and point of sale in its own compartment and break fix in its own compartment, but IT companies of all sorts are now starting to come into the retail space and they're applying traditional retail uh, or traditional IT concepts. So everything is a service. So instead of selling a project for $30,000, you know, you, you, you need to at least start thinking, we're seeing a lot of people are starting to come in and offer that as $1,000 a month, and we'll take care of all of your IT. So everything as a service is the big trend that we're seeing in your industry. Thank you, Ray. Yeah, I, I think from a broad technology perspective, I, I would say that it strikes us that how we're living in, in a hybrid world, you know, whether it's uh, online retailing, offline retailing, traditional point of sale, mobile, dig a little bit deeper into mobile and you start getting into the permutations of operating systems, form factors, size of tablet, you start talking about software and you start talking about whether it's cloud-based, cloud-enabled, uh, traditional applications, delivery as a service, traditional delivery methods. So 
uh, there's a lot going on, and, it's, and it's, I don't think it's one uh, answer. I think that there's going to be a number of different alternatives that people are going to take, and I think that's part of the opportunity that people here have is to find their strengths in terms of what they can provide and offer to their customers. But I think it's this choice that we're going to be grappling with. Great. Jay, can we hear your perspective? Yeah, so I'm in the envious seventh <laughs> seat here, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, I'd agree with most everything everybody else said on the panel already. What, I, what I'd tell you is we see, you know, the retail environment is a very challenging environment for if you're the, if you're the CIO of a retailer right now, you've got a lot of things that you're worrying about that you didn't used to worry about, right? Um, you know, security is just one on top of mind that every, every retail CIO is up at night worrying about security, right? Uh, I would tell you... The lines are blurring. If I'm in your seat, uh, you need to take a total solutions approach to the market, not just a retail pause or barcoding approach. Um, and many of the folks already alluded to that. Uh, you know, I see opportunities for you. Where there's challenge, there's opportunity. You know, you have opportunity in security, in wireless, massive opportunity coming down the pike. You know, obviously with EMV down the road, Lots of opportunity for upgrades. So, you know, I think consumers are expecting more out of retail. You know, they expect a omni-channel, consistent experience. And I think you guys are in the driver's seat. So, you know, good, good times ahead for all of us. Great. Thank you, gentlemen.